I have completed the story of Hogwarts Legacy and reached the end of the school year. Your OWL exams fast approaching. Now is a good time to review your field guide progress, explore the world, finish any remaining relationship storylines and side quests, and complete your field guide as you see fit. I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those demiguise moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. I have quite a few things to accomplish. But right now... Do I go up or down? I have been to this common room so rarely that I don't remember which direction is out. I think I was supposed to go up. Rebellion. I have, um, oh. Some treasure. We have treasure. Take it. Since we have to go to Hogsmeade, anyway. Might as well grab another couple of items. But I um, have gotten some more house tokens. So I need to go to the house chest and put the tokens in. It was in the other room on the way out the door, I think. Here it is. All right. Another house token for the house chest. One, two, three, four. This Dedalian Keys Challenge is coming along nicely. Six. All right, so I've gotten six more. So we're about halfway there with that one. So Hogwarts lives on, free of the goblin menace. Hello, Rowena. Ravenclaw. All right, um, let's look at our gear, see what we want to sell. We're going to keep the gloves, the legendary gloves, keep the legendary eyewear. Sell the green stuff. Purple, blue stuff can go. We have our legendary. That's green. That can go. All right. We will keep our legendary gear. Our health is up to 2,000. We have a little bit of galleons in the bank. We still need to go find Imelda's last broom trial so that we can get that last upgrade for our broom not that it helps me at all oh my goodness I need to let the Lord of the shore out he's still in that little bit tiny bag we need to let him out let's go to the room of requirement let's see we didn't earn any talent points so we don't need to be there um, we've completed one two We've only completed two of our, uh, wait, there's, oh, the unicorn. No, we got the unicorn. Oh, uh, we've got to get, take care of Deke's request and get the, um, phoenix. That'll be the last creature for that. Okay, so we have completed all the main quests. There's still a lot of side quests, ton of them. So I'll record some of them. Why not? We're having fun. We gotta help Poppy and Natty with their quest. And then there's all the little townspeople's quests we took a bunch of in Hogsmeade and along the roads. So we need to take care of those. Okay, so that's all caught up. That's caught up. Inventory's caught up. Didn't have any new talent points. Collections is caught up. Go to the room of the requirement.
We'll go harvest all of our plants, get some potions. We should check on our animals to see if we can uh, know and identify gear. And we owe Dobby a quest. We owe Dobby a quest. We need to get on that. I need to redo my weapons bars. What's going on? What is going on? Oh my. Huh. I know I'm supposed to get another vivarium, but remember this room resizing. That's why this game is so replayable. It's just, you just never know. <laughs> oh, and there's still a few Merlin trials, too. I didn't quite get all of those done. Can't carry any more of those. Now the beach vivarium is usually where I let him out. That's the swamp. Do I already have four? I think I already have four in here, four species. But since he was living on a beach, I always like to put him on a beach. Well, the toad should be in the swamp, actually. So let's put the toad That toad should be in the swamp. Let's Professor Howen will never place. believe this. There we are. Yeah, you guys. I hope there's enough food here for you all to share. Hi, Wing. I should brush them and get upgraded upgrade material but now who else is in the swamp there's got to be I think there's something in the swamp that I want to move there's just thestrals that's yeah there's only thestrals in the swamp there we go I think you'll be much happier there much happier Yeah, get him out of that little bag I had him in. I think I'm going to need my bag, so I'll move repair, well, I don't like it in that position, I'll move repair -o. Okay, I think that yeah, looks good. So now, it's all fun and games. I'm not going to speak with Professor Weasley yet. I'm going to start doing some of these. Um, let me replay Ominous's outpost because it wasn't on screen.
Anne's worried. She says Sebastian promised her that I would be there if she went to meet him in the catacomb. But now he's asking her to join him immediately and to come alone. She says he doesn't sound himself. Meet us at the catacomb as soon as you can. I hope that my quill has conveyed my message clearly. Ominous. And we do have a flu flame there, so it won't take us long to, to arrive. Nice of you to stop by. I didn't stop though. I'll come and beat you up later. I'm gonna beat up some of them. <laughs> I intend to go to a couple of those camps on side quests. Let's see. Feet down. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. And let's land. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. There's one closer. Alright, what's going Sebastian on, guys? Sebastian has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop. You swore you wouldn't let Sebastian take this one step further. Yet here we are. He won't listen to reason. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Why is it always we? Sebastian must not be in his right mind. Was he ever? Go on, girl. Let's get Last time we were here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's, Let's find Sebastian quickly. Accio. Where was Sebastian when you and Anne found him? Just ahead, in the great room. down, correct? Potato! Stupid one! Confringo! Okay. I thought this was a straight line. I guess I was wrong. 
thought this was going to take me to that big room. Okay, let's go back. I want to go to the big room where the um, student had left something on the table and... Right? Let's open the door. And let's open that. Is it this way? Sebastian! No, I opened that bag. I open that bag. So it must be this way. Yeah. There weren't this many in theory before. And there's no sign of Sebastian. Confringo. Leviosa. You something that burns, boo. Something that burns. Incendio. Like Fringo. Potato. Stupid fire. on cool down it couldn't help me stupid incendi hold on a moment i was so worried about sebastian i didn't even realize anne's gone to get solomon when she first saw the inferi she thought sebastian was being attacked but then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it the carvings on the relic were in theory, and Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating in theory is incredibly difficult, but controlling them... As Anne and I frantically barricaded the in theory to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit. Make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. It See is. if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. It's a family drama. It's a soap opera. And I'm a victim. Akio. I'm a victim of this family drama. Oh, Sebastian, Sebastian, Sebastian. You have been a not good friend. How many inferior are there? A lot. And there's not a lot of aces. You don't have a lot of aces. <laughs> so let's uh, get in the middle. Oops, oops, oops. Incendio! Stupid one. Oh, and they, they get stronger too. I forgot. The ones closer to Sebastian are stronger than the other ones. Stupid one. Confringo. Incendio. It takes longer to kill them. Potato. Stupid one. Because, see, like, Stupefy doesn't hurt them. You really just gotta burn them. Incendio! Confringo! Bombarda! 
But whereas other stuff, it only takes one of those. It takes all of those for these in theory. Okay, Sebastian Head, where'd you go? Dumbo. You dumb boy. That's ah, still spiders. Oh, I think that's the way we came in. I can't even kill him. He's from another... <laughs> another time. I think there's one up there. I think this is where we need to go. Yeah, there's the table. Here's the table. And we use these doors. There's a second door like this, though. Was it this way? These Inferi seem far from controlled. He's not in here. this dumb boy. Oh, shooty wooty. I gotta build stairs before I can even... Isn't this incredible? No, you idiot. Sebastian! I told you! The relic is the answer! I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it, just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight Inferi all the way. What have the two of you done? Accio relic! I won't use profanity, but I would really like to towards him. Just because I'm there trying to talk Sebastian off the ledge, he puts me in the same basket with him. And watch this. He is only going to attack me. He's not going to attack me. He's not going to attack Sebastian. I'm ending he this only now. attacks me. That relic was going to save That's Anne. just such BS. It's just such BS. Stupid He doesn't fight the in theory. He doesn't Stupid attack fight. Sebastian. It's just me, me, me. Potato. And I'm the one who tried to stop the silly boy. I didn't even Bring realize it my first playthrough as a um, Gryffindor. I was fighting the Inferi. I now wasn't paying him well. any attention at all. And I was like, where am I getting hit from? Why am I being injured? And it was all him. He does nothing but attack me. Confringo! Incendio! And so, um, Sebastian's attacking him, by the way. But he's not attacking Sebastian. He's only attacking me. And I just, it's just wrong. I mean, it's just so wrong. Protego, stupid one. Incendio. 
Incendio. Fringo. Stupid luck. See, he fired Incendio at me, not at the Inferior. Ah! 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 You're supposed to protect us. I am protecting you, you foolish boy. Fringo. Ah! Tego. Stupid luck. Stupid luck. Confringo! Confringo! Sorry, it had to be done. Stupefy! I'm feeling exactly. Incendio! Confringo! Mr. Sano, stop! How dare you! You're no friend to my nephew! Now you've gone too far. I didn't attack him, I attacked you. Confringo! Potato! Stupefy! Confringo! Confringo! Defender! Stupefy! Confringo! See, he set me on fire. He just set me on fire. Confringo. Let me on top. Sorry, it had to be done. Confringo. Defender. Confringo. Confringo. Play seals. Protego. Now you've gone too far. Now I can send some fire again. Bombarda. Defender. Confringo. Protego. Sorry, it had to be done. Finally. She cannot be healed, Sebastian. You must stop. I won't let her suffer. Avada Kedavra! Well, it took you long enough to come help. And how come I can't use Incendio like that? Told you he was no good. Water! He wanted that dark arts magic and you destroyed it. Good for you, Anne. You've made your choice. Cause she may have been a Slytherin, but she wasn't using the dark arts. Oh, Anne. What have you done? Typical psychopath. He projects it off on her. He never does anything wrong. He's a narcissist I must get out of here. and a psychopath. And a dark wizard. I can't let him leave. Why not? Ah, so tedious. Don't expect me to run. I mean, you know, Sebastian, wait. <laughs> I'm 
so glad to be done with his little storyline. But at least I don't have to remember the way out. <laughs> oh, this is foul, stoopy boy. Stop, Sebastian! Hold on! Stoopy, stoopy, stoopy boy. Now, she knows how to apparate, and obviously she didn't teach him apparition. So... She was keeping secrets from him anyway. Strange twins. What is it? Oh, go talk to him. So we can be free to enjoy Why the rest of the stop? game. Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away. Inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us. Not really. He gave up on Anne. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it... I managed to get him down without using it. You went too far, Sebastian. I... I can't think right now. I need to leave. I can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian! Please, I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft. No. All right? No. No and no and no. I need to talk to Ominous, but I don't need to talk to you. Enough, Sebastian. We are done with Sebastian. We're going to go meet... Natty. We're going to go do something pleasant. She's... Nope, that's... Where are you, Natty? Oh, is she on the world map? She is. Did I not change my quest? It says she's outside of Hogsmeade. Locate on map. Here she is. So, let's I think this gate, this bridge, is the one that she's near. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. There she is. You can stop a thief in their tracks with stupefy. My father always told me Revelio. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, 
She is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Very well. I'll speak with them. See what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. That's the plan, Stan. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. I'm with you. Natsai. It's going to be easy for me. They've got indicators of where everybody is. How is standing behind a till counting? Super simple. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. I'm looking forward to my butter beer as a treat later. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give, and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Thank Some evidence you. worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. I see a little indicator this way, 32. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check there. Yeah, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it, but perhaps... Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. 
But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man, but when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note that might help me to identify it should I come across it? It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where were they? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow, as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? 
I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you Hello, already Laura. know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. After a little pilfering. Okay, let's head over to the hog's head and meet up with Natty. I would really like to get my hair done too. I feel like we've accomplish so much that we really need to change. A little more. Change our look a little. Let's grab some galleons to pay for it. Let's see, where's the hair place? First, let's go to the hair place, then we'll go meet with Natty. We want to go here. What is it you might be interested in? I need a new do. Oh, that's cute. See how easy that was? I like that. That makes her look more mature. Fourth up from the bottom. Similar but different bangs. She has too much forehead for that one. I don't like the messiness of those. Matronly. This looks like Professor Weasley. I think that's going to be it. Okay, girly girl. Let's go see Natty. Let her know what we found out. What's the point of toilet? This must be it. Work hard and don't be like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hogshead. Perhaps I'll find her there. I met a girl once. Oh, 
that he must be around here somewhere. That he's warned. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Velio will show me where she was taken. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> She must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Akio! Hidden door. Matty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Nothing even worth The fog blighted us a bit, I'll agree. But on the left, we have good spoil for our enemies. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Perhaps I was the fool. I've robbed every traveling vendor that's passed through here. They never see it coming. <laughs> what? <clears throat> Book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. <laughs> Patrol for what? I'm just. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. <laughs> this is not going well for you. Expose on you. You just got lucky. Now. Ah. You made a great mistake. Protego. Protego. Huh? Stupid guy! Don't hurt you! That's proper fatal way! Confringo! You die for that! Incendio! Expulso! Might wanna look up! Go! What have you done? Defender! Confringo! If I find another of me, I hope Brooke would remember what he did. Alright, we found the book. We need the letter. And we still need the love letter. Revelio. I think I see it. Uh, 
Oh, oops. There's something hidden. Let's see, is there anything in here? Revelio. Try the other one. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. How am I supposed to get through this one? Incendio. Oops. Bombarda. I was trying to hit Bombarda, sorry. <laughs> There we go. Oops. Accio! Wingardium Leviosa. There we go. Oh. Still didn't get out of the way. Why? Why are you giving me so much trouble? Great. Let's see what's in here. I need the letter. Revelio. It's above. Something's above me. How do I get up there? Hi. Hi. Still no letter. Revelio. Hmm. Ha. Ha. Oh, good. There it is. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. There we go. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Found it. Okay, uh, now we gotta uh, find the hostages. Uh. That he must be here somewhere. You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my wand for you. Speak to Mr. Ray. He will tell you what you need to do. Over here. Revelio. Alohomora. Mr. Rabe? Daisy told me you'd been abducted. She spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Revelio. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. 
We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Okay, Natty. You really want to do this? <laughs> Let me get my weapons. I'm down for it. If she wants to do it, I will do it with her. I don't think we can get through there. Hold on. I did take out quite a few of them on my way in, though. But I thought I saw some when I used Re Revelio. I guess I took them all Let's out. find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Yes, ma'am. Let's do that thing. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, they've also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. The authorities have not been much help. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. We'll leave you Nat in the Sai, dust. You may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. We're going to Thank leave you again you in for the rescuing dust. me. We shall speak soon. We'll do your work for you. <sighs> Meet Sebastian in the Undercroft. 